the fundamental uh, changes versus in particular last year is driven by external factors, uh, i.e. The, the COVID, which kind of either uh, forces us to close shops or, you know, restricts people from coming into the shop. So that, that's the major driver. Then, of course, underlying, there's an increasing uh, performance element. And that normally we look versus 2019, which is more of a clean base. And there we can see that we have a, a, a pretty nice track uh, where globally the quarter was up by seven percent i should also mention that the second quarter is actually the highest revenue quarter ever in the company's history so we're very very pleased with the development clearly issues there with china as you talk about the weakness there and how disappointing the performance has been uh, you've announced that uh, the first step to reposition the brand will take place in the second half exactly what do you want to do with the pandora brand in china so i think the backdrop for us is china remains the largest jewelry market in the world uh, we have done plenty of research in China with the Chinese consumer trying to figure out whether our brand actually is meaningful for them. And, and once explained properly, it has a very strong resonance. It's a unique and interesting proposition. So, so that's the job we have to do. We have to ensure that the Chinese consumer understands the positioning of Pandora. So it's, it's really a marketing task more than anything else. Um, in the meantime, the U.S. still remains stunningly strong as well. Um, where's the focus in the U.S.? That is what I presume you're going to say a hybrid strategy. But of course, the malls have been hit very, very hard during the pandemic as well. You and I have talked about malls in the U.K. previously, Alexandra, as well. So online growth in the malls or a bit of both? I, I think the customer of today, I mean, you can just go to yourself you shop in in every uh, touch point nowadays you maybe your journey starts on social media um, then you do some additional research then you may pop your head into a store if it's open or you go onto the e-commerce so it's kind of an intertwined journey so, so so the actual answer to your question is we have to be good in every touch point where the customer wants to kind of interact with the brand so therefore we have invested a lot more in in our digital strategy which was kind of weak when i came here a little bit over two years ago i think our store operation has been relatively good throughout and and kind of the the operation we have to go to with our franchise partners and multi-brand store partners have always been uh, kind of decent. So I think the element we added was the digital element, both in terms of marketing as well as on the e-commerce. So it's, it's a holistic journey that we're providing.